Hello bookworms! Today we're going to be reading a book called Guess How Much I Love You. Little Nut Brown Hare, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hare's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hare was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hare. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hare, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big Nut Brown Hare had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hare. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hare. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hare. That is quite high, thought Little Nut Brown Hare. I wish I had arms like that. Then Little Nut Brown Hare had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hare, swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hare, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hare, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hare. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hare. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown Hare. That's very far thought Little Nut Brown Hare. He was almost too sleepy to think any more. He looked beyond the thorn bushes, out into the big dark night. Nothing could be further than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far said Big Nut Brown Hare. That is very far. Big Nut Brown Hare settled Little Nut Brown Hare into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile. I love you right up to the moon and back. And that book was written by Sam McBraitney and illustrated by Anita Jerome.